Today, we are going to be building an aircraft 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, and all the way up until we get to 100 times. Once I move on to the next aircraft build, I will strictly only be building from my memory. And at the end of this video, I will be taking the first aircraft and the very last aircraft and putting them up against each other to see just how bad my memory is. Alright, so right here I have built 100 separate cubicles where I will be building all of my 100 aircrafts. And the first one starting right here. I'm not allowed to look over any of these walls, and if I accidentally happen to do so, I will have to start this challenge all over again. So I don't want to make this aircraft too complicated, because then it would just be impossible, but I also don't want to make it too easy to where I can remember how to build it each and every time. So I don't know, I think I might want to start off with maybe just a large dynamic, or maybe a small I'm gonna place one like that, and then we'll place one here. And I, like I said, I want to make it a little bit complicated, so that way it's almost impossible to remember how to build. And also, I'm talking while I'm building it, so that's another reason why I'm gonna forget on how to build this thing. Well, guys, it kind of sh looks shaped like a peanut. So I'm gonna just go with the beachy, beachy thin floors, beachy beams, because I just honestly like the look of these. They're just so clean, and they're only one block wide, so it's so easy to build with them. I did not place these parallel to each other, or perpendicular, whatever that word is. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what I'm building here. I'm just hoping that it turns out looking pretty good at the end. Alright, I don't know if I made this room wide enough, but I guess that's as wide as I'm going right here. Still don't have any clue on what I'm building. But, uh, like I said, I'm just trying to make it as complicated as possible. All right, there's the engine compartment all covered up. I'm gonna be honest, guys. What do you think of my aircraft here? It looks pretty sick, huh? Should I just test it out to make sure it actually flies? And then I'm gonna try and park it back here. I don't know how well that's gonna work. You know what? It's dark out. We also should add some headlights. Might it'll make it a little bit harder to remember, right? There we go. Now we can sit down. Okay, so it drives. Clearly, it drives pretty good. But we gotta test... The ultimate test to see if it flies. Oh my goodness, it's not flying. Okay, we need more balloons. Well, before we hit the tree, come on. Okay, that's actually so much better. I don't know if we're gonna be able to land this in there, but we can only try. Okay, we're almost there. I think we're gonna have to go up a little bit. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, 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 no, wrong way. Oh, 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 I think we're gonna make it. Come on, drive, drive, drive. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, guys. We just landed this aircraft in this little room here. All right, this is the aircraft we're gonna try and rebuild 100 times. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that first little part right there. But uh, now guys, for the next, I don't know, it's probably gonna take a couple hours, if not, probably gonna take me like 10 hours to build all these, but this is the last good look I get at this thing. And now I'm gonna have to try and rebuild it without looking at it over here. That's enough wasting time. We might as well get right into it. So yeah, I think that's everything, if I'm not mistaken. I honestly couldn't remember. So we have the ones to go forward, we got the ones to turn. I'm not going to change the channels because that's just going to waste a lot of time. I'll change the channels on the final one that we test because I'm not even going to be testing these ones. So I think this is good. I don't think there's anything else that I'm forgetting. Let's go build this thing 98 more times and I'm not going to make you guys sit through every single one. And I'm not going to make you guys sit through every single one. So I'm just going to speed it up for you guys, and probably around like the halfway mark, I'll get back to you guys. I'm going to spend the next probably couple of days rebuilding this thing 100 times. I'm going to get a final last look at this thing, and once I enter this door for the last time... Oh, and I pushed it off the edge. Like I was saying, I'm touching the aircraft this time. 
Once I come through this door, I am no longer allowed to look at this aircraft. All right, bye-bye, and good riddance. We're gonna make sure we can never accidentally see it. So I think that's good. We are not gonna be able to see that aircraft anymore. Let's go. Gonna start building this aircraft, and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys <laughs> about at the halfway mark, so... Alright guys, I don't even know what number aircraft I'm on right now, but holy moly, I've been recording for a little over three hours now. I don't know how far I am into this challenge. I lost count after like the fifth aircraft, so I don't even know. I know I gotta be at least somewhere past the tenth aircraft, but as you guys seen, I completely forgot how to build this thing already. Um, I stopped building the thrusters on the bottom and the wheels just because it was taking so darn long to get it up in the air and everything, and yeah, this challenge is already taking a lot longer than I thought it was. So that's why I stopped building the wheels on the bottom. But just so you guys know, on the last aircraft, I will build it completely with the wheels and everything how I remember it. But for now, I'm building everything except for the wheels. Just in case you guys were curious, that's what I'm doing. But yeah, let's keep grinding. Let's keep going, man. Okay, guys, so I think I'm just about halfway. I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, way down there. I don't know. I haven't been counting. Like I said, I lost track at like five. So whatever is way down there, whatever number I'm on right now. And then I have this left. It goes way down there. You can't even see. It goes way past the tree line right there. But yeah, I think I'm about halfway. I honestly don't even know. But I'm going to keep building here. I honestly... Don't even know how much the aircraft has changed yet, if it changed at all. Like I said last time, still not putting the wheels on there till the last and final aircraft because it's taking, holy moly, is this taking so long. I have been recording for way too long. But yeah, that's enough from me. Let's get right back into this building. Oh, shoot. Wait, guys, this must be the last one. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we're on the 100th aircraft. I didn't think this day would ever come. Oh, my goodness. Well, here it is. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Why don't we get some lights in here? Because it's a little bit dark. There we go. Now it's not so dark in here. But, guys, this is the moment. I got to build this thing 100% from memory and see if I can't build it just like the first aircraft that I built at the start of this video. Let's hope I can pull this off. Oh, no, 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 no! Are you kidding me, dude? Now I gotta try and figure out how to get this thing back up. Okay, I'm gonna place one on the back. Now if we pop this, it should fall back down. Okay, good. Gosh. Okay, now we can actually place them where we want them. I guess it doesn't matter that we're up there anymore. So I think it was two in the back and one in the front. So I think that's good to go. Now all we need to do, make sure all these wheels are going in the right direction. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's hop in the driver's seat here, and let's give it a test drive, so hopefully this thing flies. Oh, there's a tree there. There's a tree there. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know about flying very stable, but look at all these aircrafts, man. Oh my goodness. Look at all the aircrafts over there. All a hundred aircrafts, man. Oh my goodness, this thing is definitely not stable. <laughs> all the aircrafts here, guys. <laughs> all the different versions. Now we gotta test and see if this one is just as good as this first one right here. Oh my goodness. It doesn't even look the same. Well, it kind of does, but wow. I forgot the headlights on the second one, and then I remembered it on the third one. Let's just take a look on how much worse it got. Like, oh my goodness. Like, look at this one. This thing looks horrible. <laughs> it just got worse and worse and worse, and I just realized the original one had, like, wings on the top or something. I don't know how I forgot to add that. Oh my goodness. Look at this, and then that. Let's put them side by side. Let's get this guy down there, and let's put them side by side. First aircraft, 100th aircraft. <laughs> oh my goodness. What has changed? The roof has changed dramatically. I don't know how I ended up making it that short and how I thought that was the right thing to do. The engine compartment looks pretty much the same for the most part. The thrusters, um, pretty much, I just placed them down one block, but they look the same. The tires and the wheels, um, oh shoot. It looks like I used the wrong suspension pieces. These are the shorter ones. These are the wider pieces. And I forgot the freaking headlights. Oh well, not a big deal. But overall, the steering wheel is pretty much in the same spot. I moved it back a little bit. Overall, I would have to say my memory is not too bad. But I definitely completely forgot to add these wings on top. And I guess I just kind of moved everything around a little bit. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. The real test is going to see on how different they fly and they drive. So this one actually controls pretty well on the ground. Let's see if we can get up this hill. Yeah. Oh yeah. This thing can get up this hill no problem. Let's see how it flies. Okay, so it likes to tilt up and it doesn't fly very high. What if we keep spamming it? We can get pretty high, huh? Oh yeah, this thing can get pretty high. It can turn really good. Oh yeah. Not too hard to handle. For the 100th aircraft, I would say this ain't too bad. Definitely a lot different, but overall, it probably is going to handle pretty much the same. So let's park this guy here. Let's get into the first aircraft and see how this one handles. Okay, so already out the bat, it's barely touching the ground. Let's see how it gets up this hill. Okay, so yeah, it's having a lot harder time getting up this hill because there's not as much traction on the ground. But overall, this thing is much easier to fly. It doesn't go straight up in the air like a rocket like the other aircraft. Definitely a lot easier to control in the air. On the ground, not so much actually, surprisingly. But you're not going to be on the ground much with this aircraft as it is anyways. So, hey guys, look at all of these aircrafts right here. I can't believe I just spent the last like 10 hours building this 100 aircrafts. <laughs> look at all of these aircrafts, man. My goodness. Well... Let's take this one down to the end there and see just where I went wrong. Okay, so yeah, I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking right here. But uh, this looks like where I took the wrong turn and started making it super short. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. This looks like the first one where I decided... I don't even know what number this one is. It's like... I don't know. It's a little more than halfway... I'd say it's three quarters of the way down the line. I don't know why I decided to uh, start making the roof a little shorter. And then I just continued that on um, for the next aircrafts and so on. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't, why don't we try one of these out and see how well these are? Yeah, there's I, I completely didn't even add a way to turn. And it doesn't even fly. It's pretty much a hovercraft at this point that doesn't steer. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you're inspired to do something just like this, maybe I'll make an aircraft that looks something like this. Um, I don't know. Leave your comments down below what you guys think about this video. And uh, I'm stuck here, so that's going to be it for me, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all in the next one. Later.